us have been there and know it is the most exciting evening of your 12 years at school. Today I visit the Lombardi Hotel where the Student Expo is exhibiting the Matric Experience, a platform to help Matrix prepare for a night filled with glamour, but also assist them with potential study opportunities, gap options and many more. Let's see what they have in store for us. What do you remember about being in Matric? Sure, um, Matric uh, was, was a very exciting year for me. Um, looking back onto my school years, um, I think Matric was the year that stood out most for me. Mm. Um, I was very excited to obviously go study further, um, but I also couldn't wait to finish school because mm. I think I was ready to, to move into a new chapter of my life. And you're quite a stylish person to look up to. What would you say something that guys should look for when buying a suit? Well, thank you so much for the compliment. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, for me, I've always tried to look for something which is uh, elegant, classy, and uh, sophisticated. Um, I've looked for a piece um, with my matric farewell suit and all that as well. I've looked for a piece which I could continue to use even after the matric farewell. Um, obviously, yeah. with them, um, one moving into a new chapter in your life with varsity, um, perhaps going to work. I think uh, when choosing a matric farewell outfit in particular, I think look at a suit which is uh, elegant and which you can. Continue to use even though in a work environment or the network. And if you could go back in time and change anything in your life, should you choose to, what would it be and why? Sure, that's quite a difficult one. Um, <laughs> I think. Uh, if there's one thing I could change is uh, I would have uh, wanted to obviously studied harder at school level um, and really took in all the, the, the tips and knowledge which teachers have shared with me over the years um, to, to heart. Um, you know, I look back to, to many lessons and, and, and these voices that keep on playing in the, in the back of my mind um, and uh, I should have just listened to them uh, much earlier in my life yeah. and I think I could have then been a few steps ahead of where I am today. And if you can leave the gentleman of South Africa with one message, what would it be? Yeah. You know what, uh, throughout the past year I've, I've really seen that uh, there's actually a big need for role models in South Africa um, and especially with what South Africa as a country is facing currently, um, I think it's very important for the men and, and the male role models to stand up and to take stand um, and to really be that inspiration to the younger generations. Um, so that's a message I want to want to leave with, with all the men of South Africa is to, you know, really standing up and, and using your status and stand in the community um, to inspire others and um, to fight for a better South Africa. Ruan, what do you remember about being a matric? Um, I remember not doing homework. Yeah. And uh, I was very naughty, so that's all I remember. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember any good things. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been acting for more years than wheels in a car. What would you say has been the most valuable lesson that you've learned over the years? Um, just stay true to the character and to yourself. What advice would you give to Matrix, matriculating in 2016? Honestly, my advice would be take a gap year. Um, figure out where you are and where you need to go before you spend all that money on courses and then it's not who you are. So now as a, I would say, a successful entrepreneur, what advice do you have for aspiring entrepreneurs? I always say that um, entrepreneurs, they come to me and they say, okay, you know what, Yaku, we've got challenges, um, it's funding, we don't have access to funding, talent acquisition and stuff. And I always say that, you know, it's not so much the external challenges, it's much more the internal challenges. So as an entrepreneur, it's a very lonely road. Um, you're going to fail quite a lot. Um, there's self-doubt. So if the relationship with self is not what it should be, there's a good chance of you giving up. And I always say that if you really want something in life, you need to push through the challenges. It also builds character. So if there's one word of advice, um, I'd say look at the internal challenges um, and make sure that you're ready for them. Being at the Matric Experience today, what would you say do you remember about your Matric farewell? Sure. So, well, it's a, it's a long time ago, as you can see, uh, the grey hair. Um, so the matric farewell, I, I, I really remember the friends, uh, also the good times we, we had at school. I think also that innocence where you didn't really know what life is all about, uh, big dreams without really knowing how hard it was going to be uh, to push through, especially, like I said, the internal challenges. Um, but... Yeah, for me, when I left school, we went overseas for a year as well. Um, so obviously, we left school with great excitement. We went overseas for, for a year, um, myself and four friends. Um, and yeah, to all the school leavers um, that's, that's close to leaving school now as well, just enjoy the, the final year with your friends. Um, 
I always look back and say, you know, it's such a privileged position to be in. You don't really have any worries. You don't have yeah. to stra stress about too much. Um, so enjoy those times in your life. Yeah. <laughs> if you could go back in time, what would you say to your 18-year-old self? Um, my 18-year-old self? That's a very difficult question, <laughs> actually. Um, I think what I'll probably do is just say expect to fail. Um, the, the first few failures I had, especially related to business, um, it was quite difficult to, to work through. And where I am now, I know that failure is it's a key ingredient in terms of becoming successful. So expect to fail and also know to learn from it um, and use it to your advantage because it's not really failure, it's actually just lessons um, from which you can take very valuable lessons. You've been a producer in the South African film industry and you're also going to speak to the people today about the film industry. What common trends would you say have you seen in the last five years? Oh, it's a very interesting time at the moment in the South African film industry. Um, I think a lot of um, international films that get shot, it gets a lot of exposure for how big the industry is growing, but not a lot of being said about um, the local um, Afrikaans market, English market of independent films that's being made. I think about 10 years ago there was maybe one, one film a year being made and we're now sitting with three to five uh, local films being released in one year. Yeah. So um, I think more films are being made with the, with the help of, of the DTI and with the help of um, uh, CakeNet and um, private investors and people are just supporting the films, you know. Um, people are getting more um, selective about what to watch. You can't just give them, you can't just make an Afrikaans film anymore. It needs to be something special, something better than what you made the previous time. And can you please tell the viewers about their recent film, Yo Romeo? Uh, yeah, 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 Romeo is um, the latest offering from um, the Film Factory. We, uh, the Film Factory has now been in the game, I think, for, uh, we've been now busy for 10, 11 years. Mm -hmm. um, Donnie Bester, the founder of the Film Factory, um, we have over 20 films under his belt. Um, Quite a few. Yeah, yeah so um, we've, we've been making a lot of movies, and uh, some good, some bad, but um, some better than the rest. Yeah. And um, no, Yo Romeo is our latest offering. It's a, it's a teen romantic comedy that's uh, set in um, present-day South Africa with uh, boy meets girl, girl meets boy and two opposites um, that fall in love through the journey of helping each other with a bit of a twist at the end. Yeah. Um, from all that you've seen today and learned and believed through this time, what do you think the most beautiful thing is? The most beautiful thing I is how we all have believed with us. Boy, self-vertrouwen en ek het self gedink, nie eers, ek kan het maak nie, of ek het gedink, ek gaan glein, en een het redder geval of glein nie, allemaal het het mooi geloop, en ek weet nie hoe die beoordelaars gekies het nie, want ek was baie talent. Ja, en wat sê jy sê het, was deel van jou voorbereiding vir vandaagse competitie? Wel, dit het alles begin toe, ek moest nou gaan denk, wat gaan ek nou dra om iets, wat my kan beskryf, en toe denk ek nou, ek hou van natuur, en ek hou van blomme, en ek hou van die buitenlewe, Toe was my baie lekker gewees toe ek na die lapwinkel toe gaan, want ek het een baie weird uitrusting gehad en so groen lap, so dit het my alles excited gemaakt vir alles voor die tijd, so van daar af weer het so begin en toe. Ons nou gister eers die is, toe sit nou, ok, dit is nou die realiteit, dit is nou nie. Dit is nou nie. Ruan, you are the winner of today, Mr. The Matric Experience, Mr. Winner. Mr. Winner. How does it feel? Oh, it feels good. It really feels good. Um, you know, the guys were, they looked really good today. And I think the suits looked really nice as well. So, um, yeah, no, they all looked very, very, very good. And um, it, was, it feels great to win. It really yeah. does. Yeah. And then from everything you experienced today, what impressed you the most? You know, um, just the beautiful people. Like I said to, um, to my friend Robert, you know, everyone is beautiful in their own way. And um, it's not if you want to lose, it's actually everyone is beautiful. So, yeah, just seeing so many beautiful faces, it was really impressive. I'm seeing a beautiful face right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And one last question, what would you say is your slogan for life? My slogan for life is never give up. I've, I've lived by that motto for all my years and um, it's still going strong. Um, and that's to do with anything in life, my sport, um, my friends, my everything. I never ever give up. And people get irritated, but 
I, did, I don't ever give up. So. Can't keep a good man down. <laughs> no. Can't keep a good man down. To all the great 11s out there, you no longer have anything to worry about when it comes to your matric farewell preparations. The matric experience has proven to be one of the best preparation platforms filled with designers, beauty experts, makeup artists and a lot of prizes to be won. For information on next year's expo, visit matricexperience.co.za. That's all for this week's episode and see you on the next one. And remember, stay classy, San Diego.